everybody, it's Coach Bobby. I'm going to show you a few pointers on how you can get started as a coach. These are going to be best for the younger age groups, U4, U6, U8. Um, as we go along, we'll be able to hit some of the tricks that you can use with uh, the older kids as well. So uh, here we go. Let's take a look. This is something you want to show the younger kids in the U4 age bracket. Okay, so first thing you want to do is be able to let them know that there's no hands in soccer. No hands. Uh, U4, U6, uh, even up to U8, there will be no goalies. So the only time you would be using your hands is for the throwing. Um, we can cover that at a later date. So anytime you have a young kid going to grab the ball, this is a simple trick. It's a little fun for the younger kids. You just tell them airplane. They'll get a kick out of it. They'll laugh. Oh, hey, I'm an airplane. But that's good. You want them to know to not use their hands to pick up the ball. So anytime you have a younger kid coming down, oh, oh, airplane, airplane. And they'll pick it up and then they'll go and they'll kick the ball. Next trick uh, for kids to learn is how to stop the ball. This is again for the U4, the younger kids, sometimes U6 if you have a kid that's just starting out. So if the ball comes to you, okay, hit the ball, squish it like a bug. That's all you want them to do. Ball comes across, squish it like a bug. Again, this is just a little trick. They'll get a laugh, they'll get a kick out of it because um, they're gonna pretend that the ball is a sock, is a bug. And, and that's good, that's fun. It's a way for them to associate stopping the ball so they have control of it. Finally, for the younger kids, it's gonna be difficult to get them to not use their toe, okay? Every kid starting out, when they go to kick it, they're gonna come up side, right on the side, boom. And they're just gonna kick it with their toe. There's really not a lot you can do about that. That's when you want to show them this is the area we pass with. Right here, where your, where your foot connects to your leg, right on the ankle, right below that, right where your shoes are, your cleats are, they should be wearing cleats. They're going to have much better control if they use that for passing. Now for shooting, you're gonna want them to use either the very top of the laces as they get older into the older age brackets, U10, U12. That's how you get a more powerful shot. But for a younger kid, you want them to use that bridge right where their shoelaces are, where it loops through all the laces come on this side, on the left side, or if they're on the other foot, if they're on the right side. Most kids are right footed. So you wanna to start to practice getting them comfortable Passing, shooting. Okay, to demonstrate the pass, so I'll use my left foot since it'll be easier to see it. So you don't want them coming straight on and kicking it because the ball can go in any direction, okay? You want them to be able to come up, plant their foot right beside the ball, and they're gonna kind of push out, okay? So again, you're gonna come up, you're gonna hit right in the middle of the ball, so the foot's gonna be off the ground just a little bit. And then it'll come right back. So now, when we come up and we wanna show them how to shoot, or also for defense in the younger ages, they're gonna kick the same way. They wanna put their toe down, okay? So that they're kicking underneath the ball. The, part, the top of the foot is going to be a little bit harder. For them, it's going to be a little bit more powerful. And the ball, as they get older, should start to just get a little jump into the air, too. So they'll start to see the ball come off the ground. The older they get, the stronger they get, and they'll be able to hit it. Finally, for dribbling, what we want to do they're really, at the youngest age, they're just going to kick it 
and they're gonna chase it. And then you're gonna see this big swarm of people chasing the ball. It's just gonna, you know, don't don't be upset, don't don't be discouraged. All you can really do is just tell them to spread out. Even in practice, what you can do is just blow your whistle. Everybody spread out. Stop play completely, get them to spread out, then start play again. But as they get older and they start to want to dribble, okay, it's a technique called pinky toe. It sounds weird, but basically what it is, is your foot is coming straight down, okay? Coming straight down, and you're kind of pushing the ball with your pinky toe. That's why it's called pinky toe. So you're just gonna be dribbling, okay? Coming from the other side. You're gonna to wanna to keep control of the ball, keep it close to you, and that's, you know, just basic dribbling. As they get out into the open and they're older and they're running faster towards the goal to shoot, they're gonna to wanna to push the ball a little bit further. One, two, three, and then hit it. So those are a few things for dribbling and passing and stopping that you can use uh, with the kids. Just try to, you know, the main thing is to keep it fun. Just ha keep them having fun, keep them laughing. Um, as soon as they get frustrated, especially at the younger ages, they just, they shut down. They're gonna go sit. They're gonna say, I don't wanna do this anymore. You have to keep it fun. All right, until next time, this is Coach Bobby. See ya.